Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this tutorial is all about really warm sunset colors and glowy skin. I've been wanting to do like a sunset look on my channel for a while, but I just never got to it. And I just got this Saharan palette by Juvia's Place. And this immediately inspired me to do like the sunset look when I opened it up and saw all the colors. It is literally perfect for summer. I'm obsessed with all of these shades. I think they're gorgeous. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this tutorial. Okay, so first I'm going to spray some of this Mario Badasco Rose Water Face Spray. And over top of that, I'm going to spray some Fix Plus. And this is just going to put some moisture back into my face because it's been pretty dry lately. I also want this look to be pretty glowy and dewy. For foundation, I'm going to be mixing some of this L'Oreal Pro Glow with the Super Stay Better Skin. This duo has been my favorite lately. I just love these two mixed together. It gives a really nice glow to the skin. I'm just blending this out with my L'Oreal sponge. And my face is, she's acting crazy because Aunt Flo is in town, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, just ignore my little breakout going on because it's not cute. Breakouts are never cute. So my camera wasn't recording when I told y'all what I was doing, but I'm just taking this LA Girl Pro Conceal and the shade creamy beige and i'm just going to conceal under my eyes a little bit and everywhere else that i like to conceal and then i'm going to take this nars radiant creamy concealer i'm going to put it closer to the inner part of my under eye and this is just going to brighten it up the LA concealer is more peach toned. That's just going to cancel out everything while this one will brighten the under eyes more. So before blending that out, I'm going to spray a little bit of this Fix Plus on here. Wow, I didn't even realize how dirty this is, but I'm still well spray, so. Okay, to set the under eyes, I'm going to take some of this Laura Mercier and just put that under there with my sponge. And I'm also going to set the rest of my face with this. Now, since we have a fresh base on the face, I'm going to start on the eyes. And this look is a summer sunset look, so I'm using this beautiful Saharan palette by Juvia's Place. And I got this palette in, and like I couldn't even contain myself. Like I had to swatch it and like see how the shades were, and they are gorgeous like i'm obsessed with this palette i've used it once and they blend out beautifully so i'm super excited to use this for the tutorial so before starting i'm going to take some of this translucent powder and just set my eyes with that for our transition shade i'm going to be using this brown shade in here and it's called Katsina and this is just a pretty like matte brown shade and I'm just going to build this up in the crease a little bit I love this shade it's super blendable and it's a really nice transition color Once we have that shade down, I'm going to be taking this orange kind of red terracotta shade and it's called Jamila. I'm just going to take that on a little bit of a smaller blending brush 
And I'm gonna put this lower in the crease. And this is just gonna add a more intense like orange shade. And I'm also bringing the shade into the eye socket. And I'm just gonna take that first blending brush that we used earlier, it's the big fluffy one, and I'm going to blend all of this out with no extra product on it. I really want the edges to be nice and soft and blended out. Okay, so next I'm going to be taking this shade, and this is a brighter orange shade. It's a little bit more intense, and this is called Sokoto. And I'm going to take a little bit on this E25 by Sigma. And I'm going to focus this shade on the outer corner. And a little bit in that crease area. I'm kind of just flicking it out at the end. And I'm bringing it in about this far. I'm not going all the way in here. I'm gonna do the same right here. And I'm just going to blend that out with this tapered blending brush by Sigma and it is the E35. For the lid, I'm going to be taking some of this bronze shade called Senegal, I believe. These are some interesting names, so Sorry if I pronounce them wrong. First, I'm going to spray my blush. I can't talk today. First, I'm going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus. And I'm going to dip that in here. Ooh, girl. Yes, I love this. And I'm keeping most of this concentrated on the inner part of my eye. And I'm just patting that down. Next, I'm going to take the same brush that we used to put that intense orange shade on. And I'm going to put a little bit of this shade called Bararo. Bararo? <laughs> I don't know how to say these names. But um, yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of that on this brush. And I'm going to put that on the lid, but on the outer part of it, just to build some dimension. And I'm going to take that same brush that we used to put on the lid color, and I'm just going to pat down in between those two colors to kind of blend out the edges. For the inner corner, I'm going to be using this shade called Wu Dhabi, and this is probably my favorite shade in the palette. Look how pretty that is. So pretty. So I'm going to be taking this pencil brush, and I'm just going to pop that on my inner corner. And I'm also going to bring a little bit of it right here. I want that to be a little bit more intense, so I'm gonna spray my brush with Fix Plus and dip back into that. Oh yeah, see how much better that is? A lot better. For the lower lash line, I'm going to be putting some of this shade on a definer brush, and that is the shade Jamila. And I'm just going to line my lash line with this. also connecting it right here then i'm going to blend that out with a mix of the katsina shade and the sakoto shade lastly i'm going to just blend everything out with my big blending brush just to make sure everything is nice and soft and I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows with this brow definer by Anastasia.
eyebrows are done now i'm just going to finish off the eyes really quick and i'm going to grab this nude pencil by rimmel and i'm just going to line my waterline with this And then I'm going to be using this Urban Decay Glide On 24-7 Eye Pencil in the shade Corrupt. And this is just like a bronzy brown color. And I'm going to put this in my tight line. And I want a little bit more like smokiness out here. So I'm going to put the smallest amount on the outer part of my lash line up here and i'm going to be smoking that eyeliner out a little bit with this baroro shade that we used to kind of give it a smoky effect out there i'm literally embarrassing myself with these names Once we are done doing that, I'm going to apply some mascara and I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Y'all know the drill. And also my lower lashes. Okay, to contour the face, I'm going to be using my shade and light palette. It is so beat up, so just, just ignore that. <laughs> First, I'm going to be bronzing up a little bit with this middle shade. And I'm going to chisel out the cheekbones with this ashier shade. Also going to put a little bit on the forehead. And the jawline. And a little bit on my nose. I'm just going to squeeze this a little. For blush, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. blush palette in light, and I'm going to be mixing these two shades. Actually, you know what? We're going to have fun with it, and we're going to mix all these three. I just want a light flush to the cheeks. I'm going to blend that out with this duo fiber brush. Okay, you guys, I am so excited to use this next product and i just couldn't buy it because i was waiting for my summer job but i finally got the emreezy highlighter you guys really i am obsessed this is so gorgeous i just it's beautiful and i'm so excited to use it okay so i know they say that this goes on a little bit better, like with a more compact highlighter brush, but all I have is a fan brush, so we're just gonna use that. And I'm sure it'll still be popping. Um. <laughs> Guys, I literally did this. Are you? Are you joking? I see you. I see you, Amrezy. Girl, what? What the? You guys, this is blinding. I do not even want to know what this is going to look like with Fix Plus because if it looks like this right now, what? Oh my god. All right. I am obsessed to say the absolute least. Like, now I know why everyone is just going crazy over this. Now I know. Okay, wow, I'm shook, shook. Okay, now I'm gonna highlight my nose and I'm just gonna take the shader brush as usual. And I'm just gonna go down the bridge. I'm Reezy, girl, you know exactly what you are doing. 
I aspire to make a highlighter as good as this one day because this, I don't, I don't think there's anything better. We're just gonna highlight our whole freaking face with this. Um, now I'm gonna take some and put it on my brow bone. That, that is a brow bone highlight. But before we move on to the lips, I'm just going to spray some Fix Plus to lay all of this down. For lips, I'm going to be lining them with this NYX lip liner in the shade Ever. You guys, I have like a little bump right there, so that's not me messing up my lip liner. Just bump. And for lipstick, I'm going to be using Patrick Star's Mama Star. And I actually love this shade. It is so pretty. I think it goes so well with that lip liner. And lastly, for lip gloss, I'm going to be topping it with Kristen by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is just one of their mini lip glosses. I think I got it for Christmas, but I really love this color and their glosses are always so good. Really pigmented and not sticky at all. So I wanted a little bit more like dimension and pop to the lips. So I put a little bit of this Udabi shade on my finger and I just pat a little bit in the center of my lips and it kind of just it gives you that little pop all right you guys so this is the finished look i really do love the way that it turned out i'm definitely going to be wearing this look a lot in the summer as always let me know of any other tutorials that you would like to see or any products that you would like me to try out also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.